Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? How about your day? How was it? Let me see. Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Maurice? I'm fine. How about fine. you? Well, I'm okay. I'm so happy today is Tuesday, right? So I'm I'm happy. All right. Okay. So what about your day? How was it? How was your day? It was very good. It was very good. Uh, I I ready for the start. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So what about your day, Claudia? How was it? Uh, it was very busy. Okay, it was very busy. Okay, so it was kind of uh, tiring, right? Uh, okay, Tatiana, hello, teacher. Uh, okay, all right, Tatiana, thank you. Mariam as well, I think. And Emerson, good evening. Good evening, miss. How are you, Emerson? What about your day? How was it? So far, so good, Miss. Okay, it was good. Perfect. All right, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. And uh, the first thing that we are going to mention is just to recall the things that we covered yesterday about homework and evaluations, right? Do not forget about this. I think that this is uh, really important for you to remember, right? Um, uh, remember that it is necessary for you to get the 80% Okay, uh, yeah, I can see that you now can see my application. Okay, so it is very important for you to get the 80% on the platform. Okay, if you have questions or doubts, please let me know. Send those questions to the WhatsApp group. Okay, I saw some of you replying to your uh, classmates and that is really good. Okay, thank you very much. So then uh, do not forget about the midterm exam that you need to complete it by March 31st and also the final exam, which is going to be um, due on Thursday 20th, April, all right? So then about the requirements that we have for Zoom, remember your full name, okay? Your camera on, please, okay? And do not forget about the microphone, okay? And also your participation, okay? To be focused on the class. We also have some information about attendance. Do not forget about attendance, please. Thank you very much for being responsible and connecting on time, okay, for the ones that are here. So thank you. And do not forget about the attendance. And we're going to take it uh, twice, right, through the whole class. It could be at 8.20 or it could be a different hour, okay? Then, um, well, soon you know about this already, right? So I think that uh, just make sure you have your camera on and your microphone off, right? In this case, turn it um, actually off. So respect, right, with your classmates. Do not forget about this. Whenever we are practicing and speaking, please try to turn on your camera so your uh, classmate can see you, okay? And then about our weeks, right? So we are going to cover five weeks and we also have the dates. Remember that the first one is going to be this one, okay? From March 13th till March uh, 17th. Yeah, then we also have week two, week three, week four, and week five. Do not forget that we have vacations. You already have that information on the spreadsheet, okay? So let's move and let's talk about today's agenda. Well, today we are going to study comparative adjectives. We are going to make a review on that, and we are going to also learn about coordinating conjunctions. Okay, this is a really interesting topic and it's kind of different and I need to please pay attention because um, there could be some doubts about this topic. Okay, we also have a speaking time. We are going to speak a lot today. Okay, we have grammar quiz. We also have a listening quiz and we also have an educational game at the end of the class. Okay, and uh, the wrap up, okay, which is the end of the class. 
Perfect. So we are going to start by making a review about the things that we covered uh, yesterday. And okay, who can tell me what did we cover yesterday? What did we study? Mm -hmm. What did we study yesterday? The comparative, the comparative adjectives. Correct. So we studied a uh, comparative adjectives. Okay. So who can mention some rules that we studied yesterday? The rules that we need to follow for short adjectives, for adjectives that end in the letter Y, for the long adjectives. First one, when, when we have the adjectives with a one syllable, mm -hmm. add, add a consonant N E R. Perfect. For example, uh, if you have fat, uh, father with right. double T. Correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another rule that you remember, guys? Yeah. From the ones that we learned yesterday about comparatives. Any other rule that you remember? When I end in, in Y. Mm -hmm. What happens? Uh, uh, change the Y to an I before Correct. ending the ending. Correct. Very good. For example, mm -hmm. for example, happy, happier. Mm -hmm. Very uh, good. Look, look here. Excellent. Reaching, picture. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. And the last rule that we covered, well, no, there is another one, which is very important. But okay, who can mention the third rule that we covered? Mm -hmm. When you have the adjective, uh, the three or more syllables, you add the words more. For example, if you have interesting, you mm -hmm. say a uh, more interesting. Perfect. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the last one, the, the last rule that we covered. Mm -hmm. The last rule. Do you remember? Maybe the irregular. Perfect, Carla. Yes. So that was about the irregular adjectives. Okay. Who can tell us some examples for irregular adjectives? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Better. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Bad, worse. Bad, worse. Okay. Much, more. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Now, let's try to create sentences, okay, in the comparative form with the following exercises. So we have, I am taller than my sister. What about number two? Sarah. Bye, uh -huh. Sarah. Sarah is. Is. Busier than busier. Mary. Busier. Perfect. Uh, Juan Jose, can you please spell busier? Busier. Spell it. Uh, B U S I E R. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. So Sarah is busier than Mary. Number three. The sun. The sun. Other. Okay. The sun is. Uh -huh. Hotter. Okay. H O 
E T E R R perfect yes number four the Aries Mm -hmm. The Earth. The Earth is larger than the Moon. Excellent. The uh, Earth is larger than. Okay, uh, I'm missing than here. Okay, very good. What about number five? Elephants. Is bigger. Mm, that is Pluto. Are bigger. Are bigger. Are bigger. bigger. Should we double the letter G or no? The G. Double. Excellent. Okay, we should double the letter G. Okay, bigger than. What about number six? Action movies. Mm -hmm. Action movies. Action movie more exciting. Than are more exciting. Okay, excellent. Are more, are more exciting. exciting. Okay. Exciting then. Perfect. Number seven. This restaurant. It's more good. It's, it's more good. Better. Okay. It's better. It's better. better. Yes, then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Remember that good is an irregular adjective. So it changes. That means that it is not going to be uh, good or more good is going to be better. Okay. Yes. What about them? Yes. Eight salads. Salads. Yeah. Okay. Healthier. But we are missing something. Yes. Mm. R. R because Pluto salad. Are healthier than perfect. Okay, we change the letter Y. Okay, number nine. I think weekends. Huh? Are. Are. Nicer. Nicer than. Weekdays. Weekday. And yeah, that is true, right? Mm -hmm. Number 10. Lions are more dangerous. Are dangerous. Are more, more dangerous. dangerous. Okay, dangerous than rabbits. Rabbit. Okay, very good. You see? Comparatives. Comparatives. Okay. Comparatives. Uh, when using sentences, do you have any doubt? I have do a you... question, teacher. Yes, tell me. And yesterday, we studied the irregular adjectives. Yes. But it mentions only five adjectives. Yes. Uh, that's the Junix or, or we have more irregular adjectives? Very good question, okay? We have more, but those are the most common ones that we use, okay? okay? But of course, there are not that much, no, okay? Those are around 10, okay? But those are not that much. Okay, thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Any other doubt? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, let's move, all right? Let's move, and what we are going to do right now is that we are going to have a quiz, yeah? We are going to take the first quiz for today. This quiz is about comparative adjectives. It's a short quiz, it's not long, it's short. Once you are done, so please open the class. Why? Because we are going to move to a speaking, okay? So we have some conversation questions right here. Once you are done with the quiz, please let me know because I'm going to move you to another breakout room so you can take advantage of the time, yeah? 
Once you are done with the quiz, say, teacher, I am done. And I'm going to move you to another room and you are going to practice those conversation questions, okay? So we have, is it better to study English in class or online? What do you think and why? Which is harder, math or English? Yeah, and then are you happier now or were you happier when you were younger? Mm -hmm. And we also have, which is faster, a horse or a tiger? Which is better for you, McDonald's or Burger King? Which is healthier, salad or pizza? Okay, so open the class so you have it ready. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to allow you to share the screen because uh, you can share the screen in the breakout rooms if you want and see, yes, okay. Um, so the ones that are from the computer, you are going to be able to share your screen so the conversation time will be better, okay? Uh, Les activé la opción para que puedan compartir la pantalla para cuando les mande los breakout rooms puedan compartirla y, y sea mejor eh, la práctica de conversación, que su compañero vea lo que están practicando. Bien, eh, ok, so let's start with the quiz. So there you go, that is the link. For the ones that are uh, on the spreadsheet is the one mm, I have highlighted the quiz, okay, is the yellow one. And the passcode is going to be grammar in capital letters, okay? So like that, let me show the, the spreadsheet so you can see it as well. Let me see, but let me take it. And where is it? Okay, guys, for the ones that are on the spreadsheet, this is the one, this is the one that we are taking, okay? The yellow one, the yellow one. Open the link, add your full name, and please add the passport grammar, capital letters, capital letters, okay? Once you are done, let me know. Once you finish, okay? So. Those are only five questions, okay? About comparatives. Let me see. Okay, I see Claudia, Juan Jose, and Carla Sofia. Okay. Emerson and Jose Bernardo. Let me see. Okay. Can you mean, teacher? Good evening. Soy Wendy Ramirez, teacher. Hello, Wendy. Tell me. Se acaba de conectar, Wendy. Hace como 10 minutos me conecté, teacher. Ah, vaya. Eh, Ajá, pero quiero pedirle un gran favor. 
Ok. ¿Me puede agregar a mi otro número de celular, por favor, al personal? Solo estoy eh, en uno. Eh, ok, eh, me, me dice del grupo de WhatsApp, me imagino. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, vaya. Eh, ok, en este caso voy a pedir que administración la agregue. Deme su número. 7052. Sí. 3198. Bye. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Wendy, my son. I don't. We're done. Okay. Let me, let me continue with. Me see Carlos Vladimir. Vladimir, okay. Um, okay. Jorge Antonio, Mauricio, Jorge Antonio, Mauricio, and Pablo. I think that I, I didn't see you yesterday, Pablo. Creo que no lo vi ayer, Pablo. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Ok. Eh, Wendy, pero sí recibió el, 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 el examen que vamos a tomar ahorita. No. En el chat de, de aquí de Zoom. No, eso, eso estoy revisando ahorita, pero me aparece como que me tengo que meter con un código. Correcto. Bye. En este caso, eh, lo que tiene que hacer es lo siguiente. Va a poner su nombre completo. Ponga su nombre completo. Uh -huh. Y le va a pedir el código. El código es grammar. Copia y pégalo. Grammar. No, grammar. Ahí está en el chat. Es... Ok. Ah, ok. Vaya, cópialo y lo pega. A ver, a ver. No. Ok, voy a ver que la agregue. ¿Dónde la va a poner? Um, eh, Wendy, una pregunta. Pero si tiene, eh, pero tiene su número el que está agregado a, en este momento. Sí, teacher. Ah, entonces. Es que con ese, yo o sea, quiero compartir los dos teléfonos. Lo que, que podemos de la empresa. hacer. Sí, lo que podemos hacer es mandarle el link y usted solamente desde el otro número se le da clic y la va a unir con ese número. Porque creo que así es como, como lo hacemos. Entonces le voy a mandar el, el link. Está bien, bueno, Gracias, Tisha. Ok. Ok, quiero ver. Déjame ver quién más. No. Bueno. Eh, 
Jonathan, Karen, Norma, Tatiana, Mariam, ¿lograron eh, terminar el examen o tuvieron inconvenientes? Mm, yo ahorita lo estoy terminando, teacher. Ah, ok. Bueno. Ok, eh, creo que Daisy tiene problemas con internet. Okay. Uh, hello, good evening, Daisy. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. Okay, Daisy, estamos tomando un examen, okay? Que es acerca de los comparativos de la clase del día de ayer. Entonces, eh, si se va al chat, Está el link, el link eh, que tiene que darle clic en ese link y la va a dirigir a una página externa. Entonces, en esa página usted va a tener que poner su nombre completo y le va a pedir un passcode. ¿Sí? Con el pass, el passcode va a ser grammar, lo que está en letra grammar. mayúscula. Ok. Ok. Y me, me dice, te dice si le da acceso o no le da acceso. Ok. okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, Karen, you finish. Okay, Karen, let me, let me move you, Karen, with, okay, room two. Um, Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you alone just for two minutes. I'm going to supervise the, the rooms, okay? Voy a ir a ver qué están haciendo sus compañeros. Los voy a dejar para que terminen su examen. Uh, teacher, fa tiempo. <laughs> Una pregunta. <laughs> okay. ¿Cómo se, ¿Cómo se puede decir, o how do you say, los líquidos que se le echan a la ensalada? Ah, aderezos. Aderezos, aderezos. Um, ok, so aderezos lo puede decir um, dressings. Dressings. Dressings, yes. ajá, dressings. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. ok, thank you. Ok. Ok, if you put many dresses over salad, mm -hmm. maybe it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. Marcas. Marcas. Brand. 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 I love the two brands. I'm sorry. Some practices more. Um, the more. Personality. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, the other picture. Which is harder, math or English? For me, English. Yes. <laughs> For me, English because uh, math. I engineer and I like math. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Jorge? Well, I think um, 
the same for me is harder English than math. I like math too. I um when I study um I I like math and uh, is um less difficult because um practice English I don't know is is for me is is more difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Pablo. Um, and for me, it's a uh, I heard the math more than English. It's math. Do you have any question? Alguna pregunta? Alguna duda? No? Okay. Okay, I see Daisy and Jonathan. Okay, perfect. Listo, teacher. Okay, ready. Okay. Ready. Right. Ready, fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jonathan, let me see. I can, I can enviar algún screen or no? No, okay, no. no. Right now, I'm going to move you to a different room, Daisy, so you can practice speaking, okay? Okay, thank you. Uy, se me perdió. No tengo conexión. Ah, aquí está. Carla, okay. Oh, you finished, Carla, okay. Wendy, ok. Eh, ¿Por qué no puede ingresar? Se lo va a enviar al, al grupo el screen. No puedo ingresar, dicho. Vaya, eh, sí, vaya. Le voy a mostrar en este momento. Permítame. ¿Está de su teléfono o de la computadora? Wendy? En mi teléfono, teacher. Bye. Entonces, le muestro esta pantalla, ¿correcto? Sí, ajá, sí me parece. Bye. Entonces, aquí usted le va a poner su nombre completo, ¿ok? Usted va a poner Wendy, Marisela, ¿ok? Y su nombre completo, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Donde dice passcode, usted le va a poner el que le mandé, que es grammar, es... Entonces usted lo va a copiar, únicamente lo va a copiar y luego, eh, un segundo, y luego lo va a pegar. Y le va a dar el y le va a abrir la frase. Ah, okay. Intente nuevamente.
Ok, me dice si le abre. No, dice para nada. Ok, eh, algo tal vez no estamos poniendo bien, Wendy. Eh, si gusta, mándemela eh, a, mi, a mi número, ok. Eh, búsqueme en el chat y mándeme la mi número y de igual manera le voy a mandar el link para el grupo de WhatsApp. Está bien, teacher, ahorita. Ok. Ok, let's see. Um... Okay, so Carla Sofia, is it better to study English in a classroom or online? Uh, I think in my case, it's better to study English in, online because uh, I can study in my time. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, perfect. What about you, Claudia? Which is better for you to study English in class or online? For me, it's better study English online. Online. Why? It's more comfortable. Okay. And I only shut the computer and go to sleep. <laughs> okay. About right. traffic and so many things. Of course, right? I think that that's the best part. You avoid traffic. Okay, what about you, George? Which is harder, math or English? For me, is um, English is harder than math. Okay, why? Because um, for me, it's more difficult practice English. I like the math. You like math. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What about you, Daisy? Which is harder for you, math or English? For me, it's math. Math. Okay, why? Is my complicated? Complicated? Mm -hmm. It's um, very complicated. It is, okay, really complicated, okay. So, really Pablo, yes. Pablo, are you happier now or were you, were you happier when you were younger, Pablo? Um, uh, I think uh, 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 50, 50. <laughs> 50. When I was young, yeah. Uh, I was happy because I didn't know work mm -hmm. and now by way by yes I think that he's having issues with the internet in when my family okay All right, Pablo. Thank you. Uh, Juan Jose, what about you? Are you happier now or were you happier when you were younger? Okay. Uh, I was happier than right now. Okay. You, okay. So you are happier now than before. Yes. No, no, no. I... I don't know how to say. I was happier when I was younger. Excellent. Okay. All right. Why, Juan Jose? Because I had less responsibilities. <laughs> because uh, I had more time to do some things, mm -hmm. some hobbies, 
Mm -hmm. um, I am happier right now, but I was happier when I was younger. Okay. Yes. Okay. Got it. All right. Uh, what about you, Emerson? Which is faster, a horse or a tiger? I think uh, a tiger is uh, faster than a horse. Than a horse. Because he helped get the uh, hunter. The okay. animals more faster. Uh, faster, faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, just faster, more faster? No, just faster, okay? Thank you. Carlos Vladimir, which is better for you? McDonald's or Burger King? Uh, for me, it's better Burger King. Why? Because I like the hamburger and mm -hmm. the uh, Whopper. <laughs> okay. It's more delicious that, than yeah. Big Mac. Then the Big Mac, okay, I agree. Yes, on that one, I agree. I think that Burger King is better than McDonald's. That is correct. Well, yes. Okay, uh, and the last one, which is healthier, salad or a pizza and why, Jose Bernardo? Mm, I think uh, salad. Because Why? It, the salad doesn't have things that damage your body. Perfect. That is correct. I agree. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Say present once you hear your name. Okay. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. My present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Karen. Okay. Car Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Mm, Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marian. Marina Jensi Sandoval Bonilla. Marina. Okay. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, present okay. teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Norma Patricia. Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltrán. Tatiana. Tatiana Yvonne. Okay. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Yes, one minute. Okay, very good. Let's continue with uh, our class. Okay, guys, um, was the quiz difficult or easy? Teacher. Yes. Uh, you didn't mention a partner. I didn't mention someone. Who? Uh, Jonathan Roberto. Jonathan Roberto. Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan Roberto. Yeah, I'm, I hear me. Did you connect yesterday? No, I can't. I couldn't. You couldn't. Okay. Um, let's do something because I don't see you here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask them to add you. Jonathan, give me your full name, please. Jonathan Roberto Garcia Almendar. 
Almendar. Almendare. Almendare. Con Z al final. Con Z, ok. Almendare. Ok. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, Jonathan. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, somebody else? No, right? I think that I mentioned all of you. Okay. Thank you. So let's move. Okay, let's continue with our class. And well, uh, this one, uh, Jonathan, uh, this one is for you. Okay, what is more entertaining, watching TV or playing computer games? Uh, well, for me, uh, I must say uh, i think uh, watch tv because i can't play video uh, video games okay all right yeah. watching tv because you cannot play uh video games or computer games okay perfect all right and you morris which is more entertaining for you watching tv or playing computer games Uh -huh. Yes, Maurice. Ah, yeah. Uh, for me, uh, it's, it's more interesting watch TV. Watching TV. Because, watching TV. Because uh, it's very uh, interesting and okay. emocionante, como se dice. Um, exciting. exciting 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 okay or exciting. entertaining in this case uh -huh. okay yeah. all right perfect okay let's move guys and let's talk about today's topic okay so i need to please pay attention on this one because this is about coordinating conjunctions okay do you have an idea about coordinating conjunctions No? Okay. Well, a coordinating conjunction is a word that joins words, all right? That joins sentence, yeah? So phrases or independent clauses. In this case, it's the same as uh, sentences, okay? Phrases, sentences, thoughts, right, etc. yeah? So coordinating, coordinating conjunctions, guys, are the following. For and, nor, but, or, yet, and so, yeah? For means, or it is a synonym for because, yeah? So for is almost the same as because. And is a synonym of in addition to, okay? That's why I have added equals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so nor, well, that one is nor, okay? Do you know the meaning of nor? Nor in Spanish is like saying ni, ni, but is equals to However, and what is however? Sin embargo, pero, okay? Or is or. Yet is almost the same as but when we talk about coordinating conjunctions, yeah? And so is almost the same as therefore. So means entonces or could mean por lo tanto. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you have any question? Till here? Any doubt? If not, let's continue. So we have some examples. Look at this. 
I go to the library. For I love to read. Teacher Badawa is incorrect. No, it is not incorrect. It is correct. We use coordinating conjunctions whenever we want to write in a better way. When we speak, we, we do use coordinating conjunctions. But in this case, when we use for as because, when we speak, we do not use for, okay? We use because. But when we write, we can use for to express because. For example, I go to the library because I love to read. That is the common one that we know, right? But we can also say, I go to the library for I love to read. It is not common when you speak, but it is really common when you write. Uh -huh. Okay, so Mario likes to read and draw. We have two things, right? And, yeah. Sophia doesn't like Coca-Cola, nor does she like Pepsi. So it says, a Sofía no le gusta la Coca-Cola ni la Pepsi. You see? The structure. And this is simple present. Then we have all wanted to eat pizza, but no one wanted to buy it. Mm -hmm. We can go to Metro Centro or we can go to Multiplas. Yeah. The weather was cold, yet bright and sunny. The weather was cold, but bright and sunny. You are contrasting. Está contrastando la idea. He was sick, so he couldn't attend the meeting. He was sick, therefore he couldn't attend the meeting. Yeah. Once again, okay. For means por qué de explicación. No de pregunta, sino que es por qué cuando usted da una explicación. And means y. Nor means ni. But means pero or sin embargo. Or means o. Oh. Oh. Yet means pero. And so means por lo tanto. Entonces. Puede significar entonces o puede significar por lo tanto. Tiene muchas interpretaciones. Uh -huh. And as you can see, guys, if you notice the a coordinating conjunction goes in the middle. Yeah. So you see, it goes in the middle. Va en el medio. And if you notice, we have a coma. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Do you have doubts? Tiene dudas? Tiene preguntas? Do you have questions? Doubts? Something that is not clear? Yeah. Well, or no teacher. I, I don't know, okay? I don't get it. 
Mm -hmm. No questions at all? Okay. So what we are going to do then is that we are going to create one sentence for each coordinating conjunction. One per each. Por cada una me va a crear una oración. Y aquí voy a ver si tenemos dudas o no. Okay? So now, but before doing that, there is a short way for you to remember coordinating conjunctions. Yeah, there is a short way, and I would say that this one is really, but really easy. The best way to remember the seven, because those are seven, those are seven coordinating conjunctions. Yeah, is by using the acronym FAMBOYS. If you learn by heart FAMBOYS, FAMBOYS, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. You see, we have for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, fun, boys. Yeah? If someday someone asks you, right, have you heard about fun, boys, in grammar? Yes, of course, coordinating conjunctions. You know that fun, boys are coordinating conjunctions. Okay. Do you have any question? If not, we are going to start creating the seven sentences. We are going to uh, work on teams, okay? I'm going to move you with a partner so you can work together, okay? And you need to support each other, yeah? Do you have any question, any doubt? Something that is not clear? No? Okay. Very good. So let me go ahead and, and, and create the rooms. Okay. Um, I'm going to add probably four. Four and three. Okay. Daisy, le llegó la invitación. No, teacher. No, ok, déjeme ver. Daisy. Yo, yo siempre tengo inconveniente con eso, no sé si es my, my cell phone o... Could be, could be the internet connection. Uh -huh. And now? Ahora? No. Déjeme ver. Lo voy a mover nuevamente. Pero si no, no hay problema, yo aquí trabajo. <risa> ok. Eh, sí. okay es que pero... si no, luego me desconecto de la clase y ya no me puedo conectar. Sí, entonces es el internet. De seguro, sí. Thank sí. you, teacher. Ok, all right. Um, ok, so, bien. No problem, teacher. Ok, so we need to create one sentence for each coordinating conjunction, okay? If you have questions, let me know. Si tiene preguntas, me dice, okay? Thank you. All right. Do you have any doubt? No, miss. No, right now, okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me go to from two. Hello, Pablo. do you have yeah. doubts? Questions? Do that? Uh, no, no, teacher. No? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Carlos. Vaya. Vaya. La primera es con Yes. 
podría ser a... The second. Uh, ahí va. No sé si es esta. Esa. Yes. But, yeah. Well. For example, um, four, and I don't know, in the first sentences, I can say I um, go to the super, supermarket for cooking and I like cooking and eating. And eating. And eating, for example. Yeah. Uh, the other is a I good like pizza because I like chicken. The another uh, for because for. Uh, Voy a hacer no. Another, uh, she doesn't like music, nor do I. Yeah. Uh, and the four. Is a, is go, I go to the. For a long time. Esta la otra. Uh -huh. She doesn't like music, nor do I. Uh -huh. Combat. Hey, Jonathan, are you there? Okay. Jonathan? Hello. ¿Por cuál? ¿Por cuál vamos ya? Why? I like that. Bad. I like to dance and sing. I like to dance and sing. Yes. También le gusta ir al gimnasio y también le gusta correr, but likes to. Carla likes to go. North. Y en esta. North. Nor is new, never, never, yes. never. <laughs> ni, no, ni. Ni. Uh -huh. Entonces podemos poner este, eh, Graciela, eh, she, digamos Graciela, 
she doesn't. Oh, she doesn't. She doesn't eat pizza. And no hamburger, por decir algo. Ni pizza ni hamburguesa. <laughs> she, entonces sería, she pizza. doesn't eat, eat, no. It sería con este, vea. Mm, no, no, no for auxiliar, oh, no, oh, no. Mm -hmm. Correct. It pizza no. That's she. That's it. Hamburger. But. It's bad. What do you say? Ay, tan ricas que son las hamburguesas. La otra es bat. bat. Esa es sin embargo, dijo Bat. Entonces, y esa no la copié yo. La cuatro. But power. The example is I wanted to eat pizza, but no one wanted to buy, buy it. Podría ser como digamos lo primero, ¿verdad? Y así como que eh, she, she doesn't like eh, room eh, but she likes Sí. Y dasen. Room em um, bad. Y das. Sin bad, sin ir. Hello, Daisy. Do you have any question? No? Okay. Hi, dear. Hi, clear. Okay. Okay. I, I understood the topic. I understood. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Ahí voy, ahí voy. Okay. Gracias, okay. teacher. Okay. No mucho suena, ¿verdad? Do you have any doubts? Yeah, in the um, uh, jet, for example, I um, in this sentences I use um, how for example in in this case say the word mm -hmm. is was cool yet bright and sunny yes. um, in Spanish for example I say um, me siento enfermo pero estoy bien no, I don't know <laughs> I, 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 I am confused yes así puede decirlo Ah, puede decirlo, eh, me siento, ok, repítame nuevamente la, la idea. Um, for example, I say, um, I am sick, yet I feel good. It's right. Yes. Ok. Ok. Thanks. All right. 
Well, then um, when used yet, this sent uh, we can write the, these sentences. I am sick. I am sick. Yet I feel good. I think that she's gone. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Probably she, uh, she was having some issues with the internet. No, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my God, okay. Okay. Well, uh, which sentence are you are you working on? On number six, right? You are missing just one. Uh, yeah, I'm missing the last one. Okay, continue oh. then. Yeah, the last yeah. one, okay. Okay, Wendy is here. Yeah, she's having some issues with the internet, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my is to pero como podría decir yo eh, I am at the meeting eh, but I can't Is a thing or up? I attend meeting. Yet, podemos usar yet o bad. Cualquiera de las dos es lo mismo es. Yes. Sí. Ah, correct. Thank you. Ah, entonces podría decir, hay a ten meeting yet, ahí sería pero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero, um, pero hay have, but I, yet I can, se puede. Yo puedo, pero yo puedo. Mm. No, porque diría. Yo asistiré, digamos, yo asisto a reunión, pero, uh -huh. este, ahí podríamos poner pero, por lo podríamos poner como, digamos, pero estoy enferma, por decir algo. Uh -huh. Yet I, I sick. I am. I, I am sick. sick. Uh -huh. Right. Um. Sick. Es I sí yes but eh, el am con mayúscula uh -huh. Uh -huh. I. yes okay so I attend uh, I attend to the meeting to the meeting yes to the meeting Jet, I'm um, sick. Okay, period. Period. Okay, and uh, very good. You are missing one. One, <laughs> the last one. Yes, the last one. There. So, sería por lo tanto, por qué o entonces. Sí. 
digamos, este, pongamos a Celia como ella no estaba, pongámosla. Celia, <risa> y, digamos, he, he is out, outside. Eh, so, ¿cómo quiere decir? Por lo tanto, ¿no? Bueno, ella está afuera, pero por lo tanto no puede estar en la clase. Aunque no sería tan así, porque sí puede, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Help Celia. Celia y... Digamos, Celia y... Podría ser... Celia, digamos, Celia is outside, so, por lo tanto, sería, I, I no see every day, o sea, no puedo verla todos los días, ¿verdad? So, I, I cannot see her every day. Ah, ok. I can. I can no, I oh. can uh -huh. see Celia, her. Yes. See her every day. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't see her every day. Mm -hmm. Now, la coma. <laughs> Before so. Siempre. Perdón, oh, teacher. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Always. Um, siempre después de en la oración, siempre va la coma después. No, antes, before. Antes. Every before. day. Is, is, is. Siempre este, antes de esa preposición. Yes, correct. Ok. Thank you. Yes. Uh, also, jet. Coma, jet. Hmm. Aquí va. Yes. Coma, jet, ajá. Uh -huh. Y aquí en coffee, coma, or. No, that oh. one is ok. No. Esa es ok. Ah, yes. Okay, let me see. I go to the market for I like good prices. Okay. Carla likes to go to the gym and run in the park. Okay. She doesn't eat pizza, nor does she eat hamburger. Perfect. He doesn't like to, to do. To do. Exercise in the park, but... I don't know. <laughs> but, but there isn't, but there is no gym, but there is no. But there is no. There is no gym. Near, yeah, there is no gym nearby. No without the T. Okay. There is no gym nearby. Okay. In the Drink coffee or tea? I have sent to the mother I'm sick. Celia is outside, so I can see her every day. Okay. All right. You finished. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's see, um, George, can you please share your sentences with the class? Okay, teacher. Yes. Um, the, all of you, the seven sentences. Yes. Okay, the first one is, um, I go to the supermarket for a lettuce. Okay. To my sister, read a book and drink coffee. Excellent. Three, I don't like milk nor juice. Juice, okay. Uh, four, I want to eat hamburger, but I don't have money. Okay, thank you. Five, I like watch TV or listen to music. Okay. Six, I am sick, yet 
I feel good. Mm -hmm. Seven, I am tired, so I can go to the play soccer. Okay. Uh, number, I think that was number five. Repeat it once again. I like watch TV or listen to music. On that one. I like two. Okay. Okay. Two. Very good. Thank you, George. Jose Bernardo and your team. Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number one. I get late home for the traffic is heavy. Okay. Number two, I I I am a good swimming and diving too. Number three, I don't like dance nor don't like go to parties. Okay, I I do not like to dance. Like to dance. Yes, I do not like to dance. Nor don't do, like. Nor do I like go to parties. Okay. Go to parties. Mm -hmm. Number four, all people want to travel to other countries, but a few people don't like to travel by plane. Mm -hmm. On holidays, we can go to the beach or we can go to the lake. Um, number six, the coffee was cold, yet it was delicious. Okay. And we missed the number seven teacher. Okay, the last one. Okay, um, let me see. You work with, let me see, let me see. Okay, Claudia, go. Uh, with the seven sentences. Ah, okay. I go to the stadium for I love football. Mm -hmm. We like math. Uh, and English. Okay. I don't like scary movies, nor do I like romantic movies. Mm -hmm. All want to learn English, but not all want to study. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, we can go to the beach or we can go to the mountain. Okay. The, the traffic was terrible, yet I came early to my house. He was hungry, so he has to buy something to eat. Very good. Okay, well done. Let me see Pablo Adalberto. Oh, I think that he is having issues with it. Okay, okay, okay. I go to the pool for a little swim. Mm -hmm. My daughter likes uh, to draw and paint. Um, I would like pizza or and salad, salad for lunch. And her story isn't so bring and there as there. Uh, she doesn't like music nor dance. She doesn't like. Uh, Music, okay, no, okay, no nor dance, nor dancing, nor dancing. Okay. Yes, uh, I don't like drink soda. Just breathe. Uh, yet I think there is delicious. Okay. Um, I I like I like uh, apple but I like banana, bananas more. Apple, okay, apple. Apple. Ah, apple, apple, okay. Let me see, um, George. Tell me, teacher. Yes, can you please share with us your sentences? I, I was 
the first. You were the first one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. All okay. right, guys. Okay. So then, do you have any question about coordinating conjunctions? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear? Well, I can see that most of you actually uh, created very good uh, sentences. Okay. Yes. Very good. So you see, it's not difficult, right? But we need to probably get the idea first. Mm -hmm. I have a question to share. Yes. Is necessary write again in the second part the same verb? No, it's not necessary. Okay. No, you can go ahead and, and create different uh, sentences with different ideas, right? Uh, but what you need to make sure is that your idea makes sense. Okay, um, but is necessary a verb in the second part? A verb, yes. Okay. A okay. verb, yes. Thank you. Okay, very good. Any other doubt? No? Okay, let's continue then. Okay, so now let's just move to the information that we have on the book, all right? So uh, I need one volunteer, please, to help us reading this chart. Hmm? One volunteer. Me, Vladimir. Thank you, Vladimir. Okay. In this case, Carlos Vladimir, please. Simple sentence with coordinate, coordination, coordinating, conjunct, fan bond. Mm -hmm. An adjective uh, clause is also called a, really, a relative clause. Yes. Or explain reason or purpose, just like because, and add a thing or another to another. Yes. Nor present an, an, an alternative negative idea to an already presented negative one, but yes. show contrast or present are an alternative or our choice. Mm -hmm. Yet introduced to contrasting uh, idea that follow the precedent idea logically. Mm -hmm. So indicate effects, result, or consequence. Situation, <laughs> sentences, plus column, plus fanboys, plus sentence. Okay, thank you, all right? So in this case, is coma, okay? Coma. coma okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, right. but very good, okay? Well done. Well, guys, we also have the explanation in different words, okay, for fanboys, as you can see right here. Okay, and as Carlos Vladimir, I read before, four explains reason, and we already covered that. It is just like because, right? And adds one thing to another. You know what that is? Nor this one presents an alternative negative idea, okay? Because it is ni, okay? But shows contrast, okay? It shows contrast. Then we also have or, that this one presents an alternative or a choice, yet introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically. All right, pronunciation, logically, yeah? And so it indicates effect, result, or consequence, yeah? So then it says, add the corresponding punctuation to the sentences below. Okay, where should we add the comma on the uh, first sentence? Mm -hmm. Where? Where should we add the comma? Okay. Should we add it after four or before four? Before four. Before four, okay. So number two, where should we add the comma? Mm -hmm. 
Number two. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last yeah. example, and it didn't have a comma. Before and. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before and in this case, uh, yes, Mr. Bernardo, I'm going to explain explain that in a minute. Number three. What about number three? Before so. Before so. Okay. Uh, Jose Bernardo, he mentioned that in the previous example, we didn't have a comma before end. As you can see right here, Mario likes to read and draw. Yeah, and it is correct. We do not have a comma. Why mm -hmm. do you think we don't have a comma? And why do you think we should add a comma on number two on this one? Any idea? No? Okay. Uh, because yeah. in the first one, it is talking about the same topic. And in the second one, the topic is, is different because right. the the first idea is to change the menu, but the second is to make deliveries. Exactly. All right. As you mentioned before, and that is correct, Jose. So basically, on this idea, as you can see, we do not have any other different idea. It is the same idea. What we have is just two verbs. Yeah? It's the same idea. You see? But on this one, we do have two ideas. As you can see, two different ideas. Two subjects. They, restaurants, two subjects, dos sujetos. And that's why we need to add coma because we have two independent sentences, totally different, yeah? That is the reason. You were correct, okay? All right, guys. So now let's move on. If you don't have any doubt, any question about this, let's continue, okay? Let's continue and right now, well, you already did that, okay? You did a great job, very good. And now it's time for us to move to the listening, okay? So we are going to take the first listening quiz. Let me share the sound. Okay, so for the ones that are on the spreadsheet, please go to the listening practice. Go to the listening practice. The ones that are not there, I'm going to send it here, okay? Go to the listening practice, click on it and add the passcode listening. Add your name, your full name, please. Your full name. Okay, full name. Okay, let me know once you're in. Hágame saber cuando ya estoy dentro porque el audio yo le voy a poner play acá para que usted lo escuche. Ok, ¿are you in? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, guys, I can see that some of you tried to actually take it. Algunos eh, trataron de tomarlo o se equivocaron de examen. Por lo tanto, no sé si les va a dejar que lo, déjenme ver si le he activado. Yes, sí puede, ok. Para, para las dos personas que ingresaron, ok, eh, vuelva a meterse. Okay, so are you ready? I'm going to play this audio and I'm going to play it twice, two times only, okay? After the two times, you should send your answers. You should submit your answers. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Carl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Francisco. What? Francisco. But all my friends and family back in Peru call me Pancho. Okay, Pancho. So tell me about your family. Well, I have seven brothers and six sisters. Wow, that is a big family. So are you the oldest, Pancho? No, I am the second oldest in my family. So what do your parents do? My father is a taxi driver in Lima, Peru. It is hard job, but he works hard to support the family. How about your mother? She helps run a small family store with some of my older brothers and sisters. What kind of store? We mainly sell food like bread, eggs, soft drinks, rice, sugar and cookies. Things that people buy every day. Okay. So here we go with the second time, okay? The last time, guys, okay? This is the last time, okay? Hi, my name is Carl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. My name is Francisco. What? Francisco. But all my friends and family back in Peru call me Pancho. Okay, Pancho. So tell me about your family. Well, I have seven brothers and six sisters. Wow, that is a big family. So are you the oldest, Pancho? No, I am the second oldest in my family. So what do your parents do? My father is a taxi driver in Lima, Peru. It is hard job, but he works hard to support the family. How about your mother? She helps run a small family store with some of my older brothers and sisters. What kind of store? We mainly sell food like bread, eggs, soft drinks, rice, sugar, and cookies. Things that people buy every day. Okay, guys. Uh, submit your answers, okay? Let me check your scores. Let me see. Okay. I got Carlos, Claudia, Jonathan, Jose, Karen, Mauricio. Um, and the other ones? Okay, let me see. I got Kenya, okay. Mm -hmm. Am I still missing? Nine, no, eight. Okay, I go Pablo, perfect. Okay. I'm still missing some of you guys. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, well, let's continue, okay? And now let's move to the game that we have for tonight. Okay, guys, so I need um, three volunteers. We are going to play Guess the Movie. We need three volunteers. Raise your hand, okay? Three volunteers. Yeah. Me? One, two, okay. yeah. Carlos one, Carlos two. And? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to choose them. Okay, I'm going to choose the person that is going to participate. Um, okay, uh, Pablo Adalberto. Okay, you are number three, Pablo. Okay, guys, uh, right now, Carla, Carlos and Pablo, I'm going to send uh, something to your chat, okay? 
Let me go ahead and. Okay. Carla, there you go. Okay, those are yours, Carla. Uh, Carlos, I'm going to send those five for you. Oh. Okay, Carlos Vladimir. And Pablo. Okay, Pablo, those are yours. Okay, so what we're going to play is called Guess the Movie. So what you need to do, Carla, eh, Carlos and Pablo, you are going to describe the movies that I have sent to your chat to the whole class. Of course, in English, right? So you cannot say the name of the movie. I mean, if, for example, in this angry birds, we cannot say birds that are angry because it's really obvious. So you cannot mention any word of the title of the movie. You cannot mention that, okay? So you will have two minutes to describe those five movies. Two minutes, okay? So Carla, you go first, then Carlos, and then Pablo, okay? En dos minutos tiene que escribir las cinco. Por supuesto, nosotros vamos a adivinar una por una, okay? Primero, describa la número uno. Cuando adivinemos, se pasa a la siguiente. Su trabajo es que adivinemos en, en dos minutos las cinco películas. All right, Carla? Okay, very good. So here we go, guys. Okay, pay attention to what she says. Okay, eh, Carla, ready? Yes. One, two, three, go. Ah, the first movie is about machine, we can dry and in careers. The second is a beer. Oh, no. Okay, races, races. But in this case, wait for us to guess, okay? Okay, number one, guys. Oh. Uh -huh. So it is a machine. Okay, right. we, okay. You can, uh -huh. ride. Right. you can ride, okay. What is the name of the movie? Next move. The next movie is about a beer, a black, black and white, and he can, he can kung fu, kung fu panda. Okay, yeah. <laughs> kung fu panda. Okay, next. Ah. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is a Disney movie mm -hmm. in Arab. <laughs> okay. But describe it. Uh, it's, it's a Disney movie. Mm -hmm. uh, he can fly in a... <laughs> oh, no. Aladdin. Aladdin. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Next. For uh, the, the toy record a uh, life. The story. Yes. yes. And the last one. The last one. Okay. Is a. Um, Monster have a big house and invite a, a woman. Invite? Invite? Invite, invite a woman. A beautiful woman. Ooh, a beautiful woman. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, the beauty and the beast? Yes. yes. Very good. Okay, the first one. The first one, Carla. The first one. Uh, Mm, it's about machine. Mm. It have a many carriers. <laughs> uh, no, it has many races. Many races. 
<laughs> fast and furious? No. Fast furious. No. It is a uh, I'm sorry, but a, a kid movie. Uh -huh. Cars. 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 Excellent. Uh -huh. okay, very good. Okay, cars. Okay. In three minutes, Carla. Okay. So okay, let's see if Carlos Vladimir uh actually um wins. Okay. okay. Carlos Vladimir, ready? Yes. Go. The first uh, movie is about the girls to live in forest and live with seven men. Mm -hmm. Snow White. Yes, perfect. Next. <laughs> the another movie is about that uh, the love fish in this at the sea. <laughs> Sing Nemo. Yes. <laughs> Okay, finding, finding. Yes, finding. Uh, another movie is about in the jungle with um, is a, a a a big cat. Mm -hmm. The Lion King. Yes. yes, very good. Teacher, the another movie I don't like. Uh, <laughs> the, the another movie is about that a uh, girl. And to live on uh, Honolulu, for example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stitch. Uh, no. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. That was the last one, but okay. Yeah. Lilo and Stitch. But the other one, uh, Vladimir? The other one, I don't know what is the movie. You haven't seen it? Mm. Is a girl when when leave your when your family on Hawaii, for example. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. In the sea. Uh -huh. In the sea. Yes. Moana. Yes. Moana. <laughs> Very good, Moana. Okay. Very yes. good, Carlos. Okay. So you did it. Okay. Let's see, Pablo. Okay. Let's see, Pablo. Pablo, are you there? Yeah. Um, okay. in this movie, there are monsters and it is animated. Mm -hmm. Monster, monster, no, there um, are monsters, huh? it is animated. That is correct. Yes, well, next. Uh, Next, and this movie, uh, the superhero is coming from Wakanda. Yeah, uh, yes, <laughs> guys, Black Panther. Black Panther, yes, Black Panther. <laughs> Next, um, in this movie, the superhero is far from home. Mm -hmm. Spider Man. <laughs> Yes, oh my god, okay, Spider Man next. Oh. Um, in this movie, the superhero and uh, from uh, another world, mm -hmm. Superman. Yes. yes, oh my god, okay, <laughs> next one. Uh, and in this movie, uh, the guys is magician, magician. <laughs> Yes. Is what? Is what? <laughs> a magician. Magician. Um. Doctor Strange, maybe? Doctor Strange? No. Uh, no. Harry Potter. <laughs> yes, Harry yes. Potter. Okay, the first one, Pablo, the first one. The first one and. In this movie, um, role in hotel, yeah. hotel Transylvania. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was easy because you mentioned the the word hotel, right? But okay, in this case, the winner is um, Carlos. Okay, very good. All right, excellent. Okay. All right, guys, now let's move, okay? Let's move to the last conversation questions that we have, okay? So let me ask you, do you eat out often? What is the meaning of eat out? 
eat out means? Comer fuera. Comer afuera. Okay, so now let me ask you. Do you eat out often? Or no? Yes, mostly on weekends. Mostly on weekends. Perfect. Okay. Do you ever eat a street food? Like sometimes I eat street food. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, is the ambience in a restaurant important to you? What is ambience? Like the decoration. Yeah. The environment. Yeah. The pictures that you can see. The walls, right? The lights. Okay. Is the ambience in a restaurant important to you? Yes or no? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And why? Yes, why is um, it important? Okay, let's do something. Think about your answer. I'll give you 15 seconds for you to think and I'm going to choose one of you, okay? To tell me your answer in one minute, okay? So think about the, your answer, okay? Is the ambience in a restaurant important to you? Yes, no, and why? Okay, why? Let's see. Okay, very good. So I'm going to choose someone that uh, does not have a, their camera on, okay? To see if they are paying attention. Let me see. Um, Kenya, Elizabeth? Yes, teacher. Perfect, okay. Kenya, is the ambience in a restaurant important to you? Yes, it is very important because I love to take pictures. I love to share moment with my family, sometimes or my friends, and I love the view in the places. Perfect. Okay. So, and what is the most important thing for you in a restaurant? Is it the food? Is it the ambience? Is it probably the price? What is the most important thing for you? The ambience and view because I um, have problem with the food because I don't like all kind of of food. I don't like to eat meat and I don't like to eat chicken and the seafood. I hate them, but for this reason, I prefer to um to eat something like a uh, dessert, postre, dessert. But this and the place for this reason, the place is important to me because I. I love the view. Perfect. Okay. Very good. That's the kind of answer that I need. Okay. From you all guys. All right. So let's see. Another person. Okay. The same question. I would like to listen to you. Okay. So let me see. Um, who wants to participate? I'm not going to choose you. Who wants to participate? In one minute, guys. You try, yeah? Try and see if we can go ahead and, and establish that conversation for one minute. Okay. Okay. All right. So then, is the ambience in a restaurant important to you? Yes, no, and why? Yes, for me it's very important because I visit the restaurant uh, the place is organized, uh, cleaning, mm -hmm. uh, because visit with my family. Uh, he, uh, 
I knew, I knew. Relax, ambient. Okay, a relaxing. Uh -huh. Relaxing ambient. Uh, because uh, it's very important to visit with my family. Okay. And, uh, Continue. And the weekend. On the weekend, okay. Holiday. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. All right. It was good, okay? Very good, Maurice. Okay, let's move, okay? Guys, do people usually leave tip in restaurants in our country? Yes or no? Yes. Is it is it common? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, right. It is really common. And sometimes it is already right on the bill. Mm -hmm. Okay. In teacher. one minute. Yeah. Sorry. I seen um when the tip is in the bill. Mm -hmm. People pay them, but it's optional. Sometimes they don't pay. Oh, really? Yes, I think that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that sometimes it is optional. You, you are right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Now the last question. Okay. And I would like to listen to just two people. Okay. Think about it. I'll give you 10 seconds. Do you enjoy drinking coffee? Yes or no and why? Okay, tell me anything, right? About coffee, why you like it? When do you like it? When do you actually drink coffee, etc. Okay, tell me whatever thing about coffee. I'm going to choose two of you in one minute, okay? Um, ready? So let me see. Okay, Jose Bernardo, you are the first one, and then Juan Jose. Okay, so Jose Bernardo, tell us about uh, do you like drinking coffee? Uh, yes, teacher, I like drinking coffee, and the time doesn't matter. I drink. Uh, almost always three cups of coffee. I drink one in the morning, mm -hmm. like nine or 10 a.m. after mm -hmm. the lunch, always. And a cup more after the dinner. And it doesn't matter if it's isn't sweet or bitter. bitter? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And coffee. I drink it because I like it, but sometimes I don't drink any cup of coffee in a day. So I drink it because it's perfect to drink it alone or with sweet bread. Mm -hmm. Just that. Okay, very good, okay? Very good, Jose. Excellent ideas, all right? Okay, the last one. Um, are you ready? Juan Jose? Go. Yes, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like the coffee and I enjoy it when I drink a cup of coffee. I drink without sugar. I prefer a black coffee and I drink around three or four cups per day My uh, God. because I like a lot. And sometimes I drink alone and other times I drink with some piece of, I don't know how to say. Bread. Food. Bread. Bread. Yeah. Bread. Okay. And uh, if I don't drink at day, I have a headache. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's all. all right. Perfect. Okay, very good. So I can see that you all like coffee probably, right? So I think now we are going to have a short reading about coffee tomorrow and you will see some, I would say, interesting facts about coffee. 
Okay, so guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Just Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia, please stay with me. Then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest, guys. Thank you very much for connecting today and being responsible. Okay, I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Take care, guys. Bye bye, good guys. Night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Take care, Jose. Um. Okay, so I saw, okay. Uh, very good, Claudia. So we are going to have this right. short feedback, okay? Just for us to um, know about you, right? And I would like to hear your opinion about our classes. I know that we just have had two classes, right? But you have seen the dynamic of the class, right? So I think that you can give me your opinion. What do you think about our class? I would like to know how long you have been studying the English language, right? And if this is the first month that you are studying with us, or if you have studied the language before, right? Why you are studying English as well, and so on. Okay, um, I study English uh, since level one. Okay. But it was, I have the basic knowledge, but uh, because in when I, I was in, in high school, yes. uh, the English was very important in the, in the day. So we have, some basic knowledge yeah. uh, but my co-worker <laughs> uh, want to to enjoy this program mm -hmm. so i because i want to be with her and encourage her okay i took the first level <laughs> but but it, it has been uh provechoso um okay mm -hmm. continue because uh, um, if you don't uh, practice you forget some some things so mm -hmm. it has it, it, it this has been a a nice review okay uh and the class is nice. uh, very interesting i didn't see that it was Ten o'clock already. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and I like your method be because you seem to be very tight, tight, tidy. Okay. Ordenada. Uh huh. Yeah, tidy. Okay. Tidy. Right. Yeah. So, so long. Good. Okay. All <laughs> so right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Perfect. Okay. So in this case. Um, are you using the language at work or would you like to use this language at some point to get a different opportunity or um, why is your main uh, motivation, right, for you to, to be in our classes? Uh, in, I am architect and sometimes we uh, receive visits that only all our clients to buy the apartment mm -hmm. and that are from other countries so it will be nice to have a, a conversation a fluid conversation mm -hmm. conversation so that is the the main reason right to, to improve excellent that. okay and do you have any hobby what do you do in your free time I barely have free time, but okay. uh, I I dedicate my time for the things of the house. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I like to go to the beach. Okay, perfect. All right. So which do you think is the most difficult skill for you to learn in the English language? Well, talking. <laughs> Okay. Talking. Okay. <laughs> but I try, I try, I try. So yes, because I have seen that actually you um you already have this type of probably knowledge, right? As you mentioned before, you do have knowledge um in the language. 
And I can see that you you are um, you are able to go ahead and express your ideas in a good way. So probably you you say yes, speaking is the most difficult part, but I have seen that you can master that skill because I see that you when you participate, I see that you are able to express your ideas in a good way. So uh -huh. I try and from some level, the third, I think, I change the the TV series. Okay. Uh, I I took up the subtitles. Yes. And in the phone, I did it too, but I I don't remember. I I I have in Spanish or uh, now, but in that time, I changed it. So okay. it was useful. Yes, I can see that uh, what you have done uh, actually has helped you, right? Mm -hmm. To improve uh, when it comes to your uh, vocabulary and probably your the way that you express, right? And the only thing that I have to uh, improve, put, uh, no, I have to, to change put higher the volume so I okay. can understand. <laughs> okay, but that is just part of the process, right? Uh -huh. So in, in this case, I, I think that uh, what you have done has helped you a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. So keep doing it. Keep doing it because that is helping you. So um, whenever you, we want to say provechoso, you can say useful, helpful, useful. right? It could be both, okay? Provechoso, okay? okay? Very good. Okay. Well, in this case, uh, well, I, I already gave you my feedback, right? I have seen you that you are really active, right? I have seen that you are really active and that's something that it is really good, all right, for you to have. And I would like to say that do not like uh, lose that motivation, all right? Do not lose that because that is part of the, of the process, right? And if you are able to participate in the class, do not hesitate on doing it, right? So go ahead and, and participate. Uh, whenever I ask for volunteers, I will let you to participate even more, right? Because okay. I'm pretty sure that, that you can do it, right? So I will say that that's pretty much about the feedback, right? I have seen you uh, participating on the speaking uh, practice, right, that we have on the breakout rooms. What, what about that? What do you think about the breakout rooms? Have you had uh, any inconvenience that probably they are not like uh, connecting or they are not like participating? Uh, no, in, in these two, day, two days, uh, I didn't have yeah. any problems. Got it. With my partners. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So that is really good then. Okay. So Claudia, first of all, uh, nice to meet you. Okay. Um, I hope you continue uh, actually with that motivation. Okay. I want you to please do not lose that attitude that you have. And basically, if you have any question, if there is something that I can help you with, with the platform, right? So do not hesitate on contacting me, right? Uh, go ahead and do it. And well, I don't know if you have any question right now for me. No, okay. uh, no question. All right. You haven't Thank had any you. issues with the platform? No, I already, already uh, resolved homework three. Perfect. Okay, Claudia. Well, thank you very much then for being responsible. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay. Go ahead and rest. Okay. Well. okay. okay. Have a good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye.